Hey guys, what's up? It's Alex here. Today we are here with the Japanese Grand Prix in this MotoGP 2015 career mode. We are so close here. Only a few episodes to go after after this one, so it's it's getting tense. We've only got a three-point lead at the top of the championship, so we need to be consistently in that top two or three positions now. So we're going to be going for more and more audacious overtakes, and you know it's just how it's going to be. We need to get those points. So. Already off the first couple of corners, up into 18th, 17th, 16th position. This Honda is fast in a straight line. I'm not going to lie about that. But, ooh, down the inside of Crutch, there was a bit of contact there. To perfectly honest, I think I was you know, right going for that overtake. I think I was enough down the inside. But whatever, it doesn't really matter. He's not a championship rival, so we're not going to cry about that. Anyway, down the inside of Polar Spargo now. Ooh, we've gone a bit wide through there. Is he going to get back? No, he's not going to get quite back on us there. So... 11th position it is, Bradley Smith and Scott Redding, the two Brits battling it out in front of us here, but sorry lads, we're going to have to spoil the party at some point, we're going to have to get through quickly, we're going to get a pass around the outside, no, we're going to switch back to the inside, that's a nice overtake there, pass them into the ninth position, 8th position, 7th position, side by side with Petrucci, but we've got past him, now Davizioso is in front of us here, he is an interesting one, but we should get past, oh, that's, that's a bit, what's happened there? There's, there's been contact, I think. Who was it that went down? Was it Alicia Spargo? I think it might have been Alicia Spargo there. I went for the move, and then there was a bit of contact between two other bikes. I think they hit each other whilst I was going for the overtake. I'm not too sure. So, well, that's priority me into third position now, and Hayden's crashed down the back of the field. Lorenzo's in fourth place, just behind us here. So, who's in the front? It's going to be Rossi, isn't it? And I'm assuming it's Marquez as well. So. Two championship rivals, two closest championship rivals, I think, I remember correctly. I don't know, maybe, I can't remember what points Lorenzo's on now, but it's really close stuff in the championship between me, Marquez, Rossi, and Lorenzo. So, we just need to really just beat them at any opportunity here. But, you know, to be perfectly honest, you're going to be top three, top four if you're beating them. So, incredible stuff here. This whole series has been really enjoyable. There was a bit of a blip, like a few months, where I just forgot to record episodes. And I think... I haven't been exactly ultra consistent with this series, but at least I know I'm going to finish off the recording today. I'm going to finish off the recording today. All of these races are going to be recorded by the end of the day. So that means that I can get them all uploaded. It'll scheduled once a week and everything should be good uh, for the next uh, MotoGP Valentino Rossi game or whatever it is coming out soon. So I'm looking forward to that and that'll be covering on my main channel. And you know, if the support keeps up on the main channel, I'll keep it on my main channel. It's just obviously with the... The thing with YouTube is, you know, if, you, if a series isn't doing too well, you, you know, even if you enjoy it, you can't just keep forcing it on people. You, you want to make sure that the people that want to watch the series are wanting to watch it. That's why I sort of created this channel, really, is to have that, you know, it's not putting them on the back burner. It's just making sure that the people that want to watch the series can still watch them. And I'm not forcing it on loads of people that don't want to watch it, obviously, because my main channel's got a lot more subscribers than this one. And I'd say here, you know, more of the hardcore... Uh, subscribe, you know, you know, in terms of <laughs> wanting to watch the videos, you know what I mean. Uh, you know, they want to watch. You guys want to watch every single video, which is I really do appreciate, and it's cool, and I really do appreciate it. So, yeah. Anyway, down to the start finish line here. We didn't really make up much ground on that lap here. We just sort of were sort of staying in third position and not doing an awful lot. But we have closed them now on Marquez and Rossi. Which way are we going to go? We're going to look to the outside line here, which is an optimistic one. But we cut back to the inside a bit too much. We've cut back to the inside here. We've gone across the grass. Now we've just got to stay cool. If I remember correctly, this was a race I was really sweating it because I was like, we are not going to be able to close those guys down. But, you know, towards the end of that second lap that we managed to gain enough time to be really battling with these guys. But I'm not very good at this Japanese Grand Prix circuit. Motegi is not, well, it's just not one that I've ever done particularly well at in the past, if I remember correctly. So, yes, yeah, it's, it's not too clever for me, at least. Um, not too great at the circuit so in the day you've got to go on the tracks that you, you're on so you know you can't <laughs> unless you accidentally quit a weekend like I've done in the past but there we are in the leaders race here are we going to grab another victory well they've, they've fallen back here this it could it be this last sector that they fall back in a lot I'm not too sure it's a bit strange to see them so far back at this point but anyway only a few corners to go now, and I'll be getting a really good victory victory for me and Motegi. I'm not good at this track, but I enjoy it. So, here we are. Last few corners, on the brakes, don't mess it up now. Turn it in. 
under the Dunlop Bridge. A few corners to go. This will be it. This can hopefully be a, a nice stepping stone in the right direction for this championship round. The final corner up to the start finish line. We're going to win the Japanese Grand Prix Honda's home race. They'll enjoy that across the line. And Marquez and Valentino Rossi finished just behind me here. So Marquez finishing in second. Third place it looked like uh, Rossi. Yes, it was. Uh, look at that. Lorenzo finished behind Davizioso. Davizioso just got him there. And that doesn't help Lorenzo in the championship one bit. So that's it, guys. Honda back at the top of the constructors. It's been Axe Goodbye.